Dan Hurt with Dan Hurt Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am here at one of Sibo's plane. We got Sibo from Canadian Gold Mining. We've got Mike from the Gold Panners. Bryson over there from the Gold Panners. And Warren from, well, Kalana. Warren. <laughs> Warren is just Warren. <laughs> We're here doing some high banking to see what kind of gold is in that bank. Hope you enjoy. So, Siba, what have you found in this holdaboard? Well, my second pan and my new claim last year, I got a 0.3 picker, which got me to keep digging. So we did a half yard test in the conglomerate and found another 0.3, so we're looking at it over half gram a yard. And if that's consistent, that's good. Nothing wrong with a half gram a yard, especially with five of us digging. Although splitting a half gram between five people is not very much gold. No, <laughs> remove a couple yards. <laughs> but it's all for fun. We're here for the fun, not for the gold. Well, not for getting rich, that is. Now, the first thing we did this morning was dropped a few sort of danger rocks, so we didn't have any rocks falling on our heads today. And now they're down into the pay gravels. They're chipping away at the good stuff. And as we dig in farther, we will deal with more of the danger rocks as they become more dangerous. <laughs> okay. so we've got the little high banker today. It is running the green mat in there. Although, it's hard to tell that right now because of the muddiness. And we just brought the little guy because it's hard to dig in here and we didn't think we'd be able to dig too much, although we seem to be overwhelming it a little bit. That's okay. Big gold will still be caught. It's amazing how much dirt five guys can lose. So, Sebastian says he's into a really nice deposit. Yeah, look at this. All this rusty stuff that he's breaking away down here. That is beautiful. This is the pay dirt. We got some nice looking stuff here. I'll be done in this stuff. Wet card. Wow. What do you think of digging with the I with the chisel? It. Isn't that great? It's so good. So much nicer than a pick. Very good. Tight in there. Beautiful looking. Yeah. Ooh, crunchy. So nice and red, eh? Another nice thing, you, make, you can make little holes like that that the pry bar fits in to pry the big rocks loose. Yeah, that's a good idea, right? What? And we're seeing a good little piece of gold right there. It's a nice one. We're not skunked. And there was one over here somewhere. I think that's it there. We have a bucket? Hey, we have a bucket. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Set up for the next run. Nice and clean, ready to go. And the maps are the right way around this way, this time. <laughs> Well, it looks like we're coming to the end of another run here. We've run out of pay material. They're having to pick some new stuff. So just letting the machine run clear for a little bit. And then I will go shut off the pump and see if there's any more gold than the last time. Let's hope. like Warren found an olivine pocket in one of the rocks here. Could be olivine, can't quite tell because it is highly weathered. But, kind of looks cool. Well, let's see what we see with the camera. Anything exciting? Nothing exciting yet. That's how she goes. Well, I'm kind of liking this actually. That way when I bring you up to uh, Trout Creek, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think I'm I never see, disappointed. I think I see a little tiny, tiny speck. One, like, I mean, microscopic speck. <laughs> it should stay like that. Although I should start. 
probably thinking of a new kit if there's no building. But they said it's spotty, you just gotta keep getting through this stuff, so. Sometimes I think you just have to sort of stick with it even when it's not producing. Yeah. Yeah, because if you stop, that's when you like... You're definitely not right getting there. it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you're definitely not yeah. getting it. Either. One scoop full from the pear there or something, yeah. Well, that run wasn't any better than the last one. We may have a dozen little specks of gold to their, yeah, okay-ish size, but not going to add up. Half hour run getting that kind of gold is not paying the bills. Time to move to a new spot. <laughs> Time to move. Time to think about something else. Do I go back to that spot? It's quite the pit we made today. Oh my god. Quite the pit. I'd say we moved a good yard of material here now, if you include the bigger rocks. And there's the gold for about one yard of material. I don't know the weight of it yet. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get the weight of it, but I'm guessing that's about a quarter gram for one yard of material. Well, it sure was nice to get out with friends here doing a bit of mining now that it's a bit more socially acceptable to do so. Now that the health officer has sort of given us the okay to get out, we were very careful to socially isolate while we were here. No, you know, giving each other hugs or anything like that. No hugging each other, right? No hugging. No hugging. Social distancing. Social distancing, yes. Play in your own hole. Exactly. <laughs> that could be, never mind, never mind. <laughs> So everyone, I hope you're all staying safe out there, washing your hands lots and all that kind of stuff. And I really hope you enjoy my videos while we're all somewhat quarantined. I sure hope you're enjoying these videos in these crazy times. If you enjoyed this, please give me that like, share it, comment. Big, big thanks to my patrons out there. You guys are awesome. Thanks everyone for watching. Until the next one. Word, fall for the camera. Watch yourself, do something. I'm gonna call me and cut you the other day.